when I'm talking about an Android phone, what I'm talking about is the software that's actually on the phone. It's called Android. Um, if you have like a Nokia phone, it has like a special software that's on the phone. Um, but Android is like the actual software, and it doesn't matter what kind of phone it's on, um, it's all going to be the same. So my phone is a little bit different than these, but it still is running Android, which means that it can do the exact same thing. Um, same thing like this phone is running Android, but so are those tablets. And that's why they're going to look exactly the same, they're going to have all the exact same functions. So when someone says, like an Android phone, they're not talking about like the actual phone. Like these are all made by HTC. They're talking about the software. As you can see on the top, you all got that correct, is the on button. Um, so if you push it, you'll see that the light comes on. Um, and on all of your screens, what you have is like a, is a locking device. And most of you were able to figure out how to do that. So if you just turn the screen on and then push down, right? Then you're gonna unlock the screen and and you can actually do something with it. And on the tablets, it's a little bit different. It's, it's the same as mine, you just pull over. And the reason that it has the locking mechanism is because you don't want your phone pushing buttons, obviously, without you intending to do that. Um, and so the other way is, so say you've been using the phone now and you're done with it, you just push the top button again and the screen's gonna go blank. And it's gonna be what, what it's called that you're putting the phone to sleep. Um, so now you're not using as much battery, um, the phone will last longer and everything. So and so what I've done on your all phones is because you're only gonna be using them for the survey. Um, but I just want to show you kind of the difference is there's five different screens on your phone and the way that you can see each one is you just slide your, your hand over like that and you'll see the screen switch. So if you guys try it, you'll see. So if you ever get to a screen that you don't know how you got there, which happens a lot if you just accidentally push something, all you have to do is push the home button and it's going to bring you back to this page. So the home button is the the button that looks like a house. So, <laughs> so if you ever get to a screen that you want to get out of, just push the home button and you'll get back to the main screen. The other way that you can switch screens is if you push, if you're on this screen and you push the home button, go ahead and try it. Yeah, you'll see all of the screens kind of come up. So you can see now those are all of your five different screens. Oh, oh okay. And then on your guys, there's six. So those are, are kind of like the basics that you need to know on how to just use the phone. Everything else from here is just kind of experimenting and playing. So one of the main parts of the phone um, that you need to learn how to get to is just the settings. Um, and this is where you can turn on and off the Wi-Fi, on and off the GPS, um, and most of the time you're not going to need to, to go to this section, except for if for some reason your GPS isn't working, this is a place where you can check to make sure that it's on. So all you do is, if you look on the, on the very bottom, you'll see um, an icon that says menu, and you just tap it. And then on the bottom right, it says settings. So go ahead and click on the settings button. So is everyone in the settings menu? Yes. OK, great. So um, as you can see, it's fairly easy. The ones that you'll be wanting to know are the wireless. So if you go ahead and click on the wireless, you'll see options come up. And the second one down is Wi-Fi, and it says turn Wi-Fi on. So if you're ever someplace that you want Wi-Fi, that's how you turn the Wi-Fi on. Um. <laughs> 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 well, what did he give us? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> it's wireless network for the internet. Yeah. Should go in. 
Okay. So now, if we're going to go back to the settings menu, all you have to do is push the little back arrow, and it will take you back to the first screen. <laughs> so then the other important part about this is, is the GPS. Uh, the very first question that's going to be on all of the on all of the surveys is going to be take the GPS location. Then what that means, which I think most of you know, is that the, it's going to be able to use the um, the cell phone towers to actually locate where you are. And so this way, once we're done with all the surveys, we can take all those GPS locations and put it on a map. And then we can have like a, a really good idea of the, the whole community. Um, you know, at this location, this woman, you know, had these complications. And so we'll know exactly where each house is. So the first question is going to be, take the GPS. And the phone should always have their GPS on. Um, and so the way that you can, can determine that is go to location and security. So, these, what I want is for them to always be turned on so you don't have to worry about this. Um, but if you look, both of those boxes should be checked. And um, let me kind of explain a little bit about how the, the GPS works on the phone. Because this is probably going to be one of the most important things I say. Um, the GPS on the phone, it takes a while to find where you are. Um, if you're turning the phone on for the first time, you've turned off the phone, and now the satellites, it doesn't know where you are in the world. So it has to start from, like, the world level, and then find, you know, all the way down to your Nigeria, you're in, you know, northern Nigeria, exactly. So sometimes it takes a, a long time. So I want to really, like, hammer into you, it's very, very important that when you come to pick up the phones, the very first thing you do is turn on the phone, and turn on the GPS and make sure that it's it's working and it's on so that by the time you're out in the village you don't have to sit there and wait you know because if you forget to turn it on until you're out in the village then you might be sitting at a house waiting for 30 minutes for the the wire or for the GPS to find you so if we if you just do it while you're here you don't have to worry about that so now if I want all of you guys to go back to the home menu the very first menu. What do you do? called a market 
And so if you go online um, on your phone, you can download different applications. So say um, you have a Facebook account and you want to have your Facebook account on your phone. There's an application for Facebook. And so you download that application and you put in like your login details and then all of your Facebook stuff is there. Uh, same thing for like email, same thing for all kinds of different things. Uh, and just so you all know, on these phones, um, already put in them is, a, is an email account that links all of you together. And so what that does is that if there's ever like if someone's out in the field and we want to communicate with, or we want to communicate with all of you, we can send like one email and you will all receive it. Um, same thing with like contacts. Like we can put all of the traditional birth attendants in our contacts, and then everyone will have them. Are you so able if to get you it? Hmm? Are you able to get and yes. someday this is something that you should know too. If there are things that you that everyone needs a lot on their phone, like like the phone numbers of the TBAs, um, we can program that in so that. Everybody has it, no problem. So, I mean, that's the basics of everything that you need to know. Um, do you guys want time to play around with it for another 15 minutes or so? Yes? Five minutes? Five to ten. Five to ten. And why don't the people that have the tablets change? Yeah.